Okay, now for the next portion of our wiring harness, which is this here, it contains our switch. All this gets mounted right behind this plate. So what we gotta do now is remove this bolt, that one, and a little one on top. There we go. Now for this harness, right up here, right behind this panel, there's an opening which leads to the front cowl area. I'm gonna put the long cable through. And we'll go onto the underside, pull that around, connect it to the front wiring harness, which is already mounted. Then I'm gonna get me some more zip ties and get that thing real secure and up out of the way. Okay, now to install everything that we're gonna need on this light kit, we're about to put a little relay right here in this area. In order to do that, I need to relocate this reverse buzzer, which just basically means I'm gonna take it up, turn it around, and mount it back. To do that, I'm gonna take it over to the desk so I can have a firm area to work with. I'll just unplug the wiring harness and meet you over at the desk. Okay, now that we got this mounted, it doesn't matter which way it goes because the wires are all individual and we can move them around when we do connect this up. Now, before we actually put this back on the car, we will have a light switch. We're gonna put it on the front. If you'll notice to the left and the right of the main switch, there's a very small indentation on both sides. That is where we're actually gonna drill to put our switch. Let's just put that for us so we'll know that that's a good clear area. Now I'm gonna start off by drilling a pilot hole. I think I'll go here. Pilot hole here, and then I'll come back with a 3 8 inch drill bit before the finishing bit. Okay, now for the wiring harness, it actually comes up front here. For the relay first, if you'll notice, you have two large female spades and two small. If you look on the back side of the relay, you'll notice the very opposite. Two small males. And what we'll do is we'll just plug them in, corresponding size. And it does not matter which one goes where. Now for the switch, we'll just unscrew the knob, nut off, And we'll tighten that nut up. Now that we got the relay hooked up, we're left here with two different junctions. We have a 12 pin and a nine pin. The nine will be for gas, and since this is an electric, we're going to use the 12 pin. So I take the 12 pin coming from our voltage reducer, which happened to be done on another video. So if you have one, be sure to check that out. Plug it in. On the female side, now we have the male side sticking out. This portion will plug into the wiring harness that we're fixing to run under the floor mat and back to the very back so that we can have some tail lights. So let's get this mat up now. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this bolt and this bolt so we can lift this up so that we can run our new wiring harness through this channel, up the floorboard, and back around towards the bag. That way we can also run our brake line right over here if we were gonna put brake lights. Now that we got this out of the way, we can get our wiring harness. 
Okay, I've got the wiring harness stretched out along the car. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this long end with this 12 pin connector and we're going to actually run it in the under the floor mat inside this well here all the way up to the front. We're going to come just under here. We'll run it straight back. We'll run what would normally be for brake lights. We'll run it over here, tuck it under, put it under this other wheel well. There we go. We'll keep it tucked down there and just leave it laying there in case in the future we actually want to put brake lights in. Okay, in the main wiring harness here, the way I'm going to wire this particular car up, I've got your red wire that comes in. I'm going to hook it to the blue wire, which is feeding off of battery one positive. We have a white wire here with a bullet connector on it. I'm going to actually cut that off, put a little bit of a wire extension on it. I may even change that white to black because that is our ground. And we're going to run it to battery negative number two. We've removed the format so you can get a better idea of what's actually going on here. We've got the original wiring harness here that comes up to our control panel. We've got our harness here that's coming from our voltage reducer. We have our harness here, which is actually coming from our headlights. Now, and we have the harness here, which is actually coming in from our tail lights and our power source. Now, this will actually plug in over here on the other side where the voltage reducer is. This is the extra one in case this car was actually gas, which would have to have a complete different harness, and which leaves us an extra gray wire, which we'll plug in over here, coming out of the main harness. Well, we've got everything connected. Now all we gotta do is shove all this wiring into this little space. Okay, now it's time to put our headlights on. Now, if you look on the back side of each headlight, it's gonna be a row of letters. The last letter will either be an L for the left-hand side or an R for the right-hand side. We're gonna start on the left-hand side on this one. Now, we have the black, which is gonna plug into here, the gray, we have an extra green wire that's gonna plug into the yellow. And we have this extra black wire with a ring terminal. And what we're gonna do, the yellow supplies power to the amber light. Right here at this nut, we're actually gonna take it, the nut off, put the ring terminal on it to ground the light. Stick that back in there. Well, this will be tie strapped up when we go in to clean it up. Now we just plug our lights in. Now to put the back lights on, we're gonna start over here on the pasture side. Plug it in, tuck it in. Now this will actually, the cover will overlap the rear bumper and fit nicely in the corner, just like that. What I'm gonna do first is go ahead and drill my pilot holes, then put my screws that catch that came with the kit in. Don't forget to take the tape cover off.
Okay, now let's go ahead and put our reverse switch back on. From the driver's side, we want to put the blue on first, then the orange, and then the brown. You're hooking it back up. If you forget the order, just remember blob, blue, orange, and then brown. Well, I trust today's video was helpful. Remember, all parts and accessories we install are available for purchase on our website, DIYGolfCarts.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook, and if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.